So in this problem, we have three charges. We have charge number one is, has a charge of positive Q, and charge number two has a charge of positive 2Q, and charge number three has a charge of negative Q. We want to find the total force in charge number one. So the distance between charge one and two is D, and between two and three is D. So the total force in charge one is, we have the force there from charge two on charge one, and we also have the force from charge three on charge one. That's an attractive force. So the total force in charge one is going to be the force of charge two on charge one plus the force of charge three on charge one. So we just have to add these factors. Okay, so we have to find first what is the force of charge two on charge one. So the force of charge two on charge one, well, that's given by k times the charge two times charge one divided by the distance squared. It's, it's pointing in the j direction. It's going straight up. Now, the force of charge 3 on charge 1 has a component in x and y. So here, this force of charge 3 on charge 1 has a component in, in x. That's given by k okay, times the product of the two charges divided by the distance between them squared. The distance between them is that. And that times sine of 45 is in the i direction. And it has a component in the negative y direction. And that's k times the product of the charges divided by the distance between them squared times the sine of 45 too. And that's in the negative j direction. So now we just have to add these two vectors. We have the vector of f21 and f31. So the total charge or the total force on charge number one is just going to be equal to the sum of the two forces. The total force in charge 1 is equal to this, this big vector, which is the sum of F21 and F31. We have this component in I, and we have this component in J.